Hey everyone and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thanks so much for coming by. So today's video, I'm going over 100 of the best apps for Uber and Lyft drivers. So before I get started, if you're interested in becoming an Uber or Lyft driver and you wanna start making 30 to $40 per hour and you wanna get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use the links in the description to sign up. You'll enter in your information and you'll get it signed up very quickly. All right, so before I move on and go over the top 100 ways, I wanted to let you guys know, I am doing a giveaway. I'm giving away three Rideshare Hub t-shirts and all you have to do to enter is you have to guess what my favorite ice cream flavor is. So whoever guesses it right, uh, the first three people will get a free Rideshare Hub t-shirt and I'll send it to you in whatever size you want. Um, and just a little hint, it does have chocolate in it, so good luck. Um, so anyways, I, um, yeah, thank you so much for coming by. The Rideshare Hub channel is just all about how to make more money as an Uber or Lyft driver. So thank you so much for coming by. Giving a car away at 10,000 subscribers, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And subscribe if you wanna win. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna link up my computer here so I can, um, should go through the 100 different apps. I know it's gonna take a little bit of a while, so um, grab a snack, uh, sit back, and relax, or maybe an entire meal, whatever you prefer. Let's get right into it. Rider is the first one. So Rider is really cool. It's an ultimate assistant for rideshare and delivery drivers. So if you do uh, multiple different services, it basically tells you, you know, which one you're making more money on, it shows you these hot spots, um, these areas, like the best areas to go to. And then it also in like shows you events too that are in your area. So like, say you live in Los Angeles, it's gonna show you, um, you know, every single time there's a concert or like, you know, in the area or like a big band that's in town or like any festivals. Um, it, so it'll show you that so you can plan out your week. And then it also tracks all of your miles, which is really important for tax deduction purposes. Um, and it tracks your expenses too, like, you know, anytime you buy gas or like, you know, buy anything that's for your car, like a car wash or, um, you know, you get new tires or um, basically, oh, whoops, oh, sorry. Basically anything that you can use as a tax write-off, it saves it all in the app, sorry. Um, so, yeah, moving on to the next one is Stereo. So, um, a lot of you guys, have heard me talk about Stereo before. If you follow me, they're a really interesting app. So they're pretty new. They've been around for like two years, but just about um, a couple months ago, they launched Nationwide. And all, all you do is you play music through their app and they pay you. That's pretty crazy, right? So how it works is that they partner up with these um, small artists and these small artists, you know, they pay money to promote their, their songs, right? Um, you know, they try to get their name out there. So they figured out that in rideshare cars, discovering music is like one of the biggest ways that people, you know, uh, discover music is through radio. So basically it's like combining streaming and radio and um, drivers can make two to $300 per month just by playing music in the car. And they have all these different playlists depending on, you know, what kind of music you like. All right, so the next one is Cargo. So um, Cargo's pretty cool. Basically, what they do is they send you a box of food um, and snacks and they have like a charger charging cable as well in there um, and you can make around 300 bucks per month. This is the top 10% cargo earners. You know, if you drive full time, if you just drive part time, you're probably making 100 bucks a month. Um, but yeah, it's a free box. They just launched a new cooler thing too, which you can put in your trunk um, or, you know, in your in your front seat. It's pretty small. Um, but yeah, basically this is like, instead of going out and buying snacks yourself for your passenger, like, you know, like waters or like, chew, like, um, mints or like gum and stuff, they basically just do it all for you. Some of the items are, most of these are even free items that your passengers can just take, but it's like advertising for, for these companies. So they want, you know, passengers to take their items, even if they're for free. And that's how you really get paid. Um, or they can just buy as well. Um, so yeah. These, this is pretty cool. So the next one is Product Lab. So 
Product Lab is pretty interesting. It's like a market research company. Um, let me just find the link to it. I did make an entire video on it. I'm not gonna go through it. Um, this is my channel here, obviously. Um, you don't need to listen to that. But um, yeah, basically, let me see if I can find it. You can make $500 per year doing this. Um, it's like a, here it is, $500 survey. So basically all, all you do is, um, this is the link here. Um, I'll leave it in, in the description, but yeah, basically, okay, now they change it to 400, so now you get, um, I don't know. It's like basically they send you 10 bucks a week, you check off whatever service you drive for, and then you like screenshot your earnings. It takes like 30 seconds to a minute max, it's really simple, um, and you know, they gather this data and it use, you know, it helps them, I don't know, they probably sell your data, but you know, who doesn't have your data at this point? But basically, um, yeah, it's super easy. And um, you know, all you're doing is telling them how much you make. It's not like a huge deal in the world. All right, so the next one, Play Octopus. So um, let's see. Play Octopus, they, this is like a tablet. It's an advertising company, but they put these, uh, the games are actually really fun. Um, they have these like spot the difference types of game and like trivia. But yeah, like spot the difference in like trivia games, um, and they can, you can actually your passengers can win prizes, and then the you as the driver will make uh, money as well. And it's yeah, it's a free tablet that you put and makes it really fun for your passengers. You know, it's super small, so it's not like in your passenger's face, and they can use it. They don't have to. So it doesn't just the only time it advertises is when the customers are actually, when the passengers are actually playing games and stuff. It's like in between each game, you know, like a normal game you play on your phone. So this is, it's pretty cool. Play and win cash prizes. Like, yeah, why not? You can make a couple hundred bucks a month with it. Um, the next one is Rapify. Rapify is really interesting. Um, and this only works if you, you know, don't mind having stickers on your car, on the outside of your car. They'll wrap your car up and they can pay, uh, let's see if they tell you so yeah, so basically I I know the CEO of this company. He's really cool His name's James, but um, I wanted to show you. Yeah, how much can I make? This is the approximation So this is definitely if you're driving part-time and then full -time. and you don't even need to be a ratchet drive for this um, you, you can do this even if you don't drive but the more you drive the more you you make and the way it works is that you know, if you're driving in traffic, like in a congested area, and um, you know you have your car wrapped, you're gonna make uh, a lot of money, rather than if you're just driving out in the middle of nowhere at 2 a.m. You know, no one can actually see the ad. Um, so basically, if you're driving rideshare, it's it's a great way to make extra money. Um, but yeah, you don't need even need to be an Uber or Lyft driver. So the next one is Carvertize, pretty similar. Oh no, this one is the, this is the tablet company, right? Yeah, so this is a tablet company. Oh no, this, this is the advertising company. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as Rapify. Um, you know, you just put ads on your car. It looks like you can do multiple ads though. Okay, the next one is Referral Car. So Referral Car is um, similar to Carvertize and Rapify, however, this one you can make, you can potentially make a lot of money or you can make hardly any at all. So you basically play it safe if you do Rapify, um, but this one, cause it's like flat rate, but this one is um, basically they need to sign up. Um, yeah, they, there's no photos or anything, but basic, this is not a very good website at all. Um, but basically all you have to do, uh, you put these like, you have like referral codes for like different services pretty much like insurance or something for example they sign up using your code like they'll take a photo of it or whatever you get paid for that which i'm not really a fan of i like flat rates more um but because like sometimes somebody might just sign up and not even use your code and then like how are you going to get compensated so i personally prefer rapify but um yeah that's just me Maybe you prefer referral car. Just check it out and see which one you prefer. The next one is Gas Buddy. Gas Buddy's pretty cool. Um, basically, it shows you 
all the, you know, nearby, um, like, areas, gas stations, sorry, lost my train of thought there. Shows you the nearest gas stations that are the cheapest, um, you know, so you don't have to pay a lot of money. And then uh, you can get like 10 cents off per gallon on your first fill up and then 5% off on all gallon. And then they have this, they have these like interesting memberships where you can actually pay like, yeah, five bucks a month and you get 20% gas, 20%, 20 cents back per gallon, uh, which can really add up. But then also they have these things where, yeah, they have roadside assistance. Um, so like, what do they do? So for $6.99 a month, 24 hour roadside assistance. So like instead of having AAA, um, basically up to three events per year. So yeah, like, you know, if you break down, you, um, oh, they even compare it with AAA, I guess. But yeah, they tow you 10 miles. Um, AAA actually, this is not true. AAA can tow much farther because I have AAA. <laughs> um, false advertising here, gas buddy, but whatever. You know, it, it could definitely, um, you know, it could definitely be interesting. So, um, yeah, it's only 69 bucks for the year and you can get like towing and stuff. So it, it's worth checking out. AAA is, much, is more expensive. Um, so the next one is Get Upside. So get upside. This is yeah the same thing. It unbeatable deals on gas, groceries, and restaurants. Um, this I'm focusing more on the gas here, but basically um, yeah. So you get um, yeah 25 percent back, 25 cents per gallon cash back on gas. Um, so I think they have like partnerships with gas stations that you know um, they want more customers. So you know they'll. Basically, they probably split the cost and they reward drivers to go to those gas stations instead of other ones. The next one, Gas Guru. So, let's see. This I think it's just the app, um, so I don't think they have a website. But um, this is Gas Guru. Just shows you, yeah, pretty much the same. This one's more simple, like, you know, they don't have all these cashback stuff. It just shows you, like, you know, all the gas prices, so... Whatever, if you want simplicity, this is probably the best way to go. Um, all right, the next one is Fuel Rewards. Um, yeah, so this one, oh, it actually, maybe they have a partnership with Shell. Oh, Shell, um, say five, five cents a gallon on every fill at Shell. So maybe you even want to get a couple of these different ones, so that way, you know, when you go to Shell, you can use this one, um, this one, 10 yeah, 10 cents back, uh, oh, 10 cents a gallon for every 50 bucks you spend. Okay, so this, this the way it works here is that if you, it's kind of like a credit card, but with for fuel rewards. Um, so, and then it works with Shell, so yeah. Sh 20 cents per gallon shopping online, that's pretty good. Um, so let's say like, what is that, 5 cents for $3. Um, yeah, it's like, what, 5 cents? This is 10% on, uh, if it's a dollar and $2, it's gonna be, um, oh yeah, 35 cents. So that's like 10% at least if it's $3.50 per gallon. Or if it's less, depending on where you live, it could be, you know, 15% or 20%. Um, okay, the next one, Geico, Geico Mobile. So this, I mean, it's whatever insurance you have. I recommend getting the app just in case anything ever happens. Um, I have Geico and I have, you know, I use this app just because it helps you see, you know, your insurance card, make sure you're not overpaying on your insurance. Um, if you ever get into an accident, like you have all the information here, you're not like, I don't know if you've ever gotten into an accident and you're like, shoot, shoot, where's my, where's my, you know, information? I need my, you know, registration, insurance, driver's license, all this stuff. And then you know, if it's your fault, the person's yelling at you, call your insurance, call your insurance. And then you're like, okay, well, I need to find it. If you just have the app, it makes things a lot easier. Um, so depending on what insurance you have, I would just get the app and then um, that way you have all the information. Hopefully they do have an app. Okay, the next one is Vugo. 
Yuko is pretty interesting. So this is an advertising company. They do have the tablets on the back of your um, headrest for your passengers. And yeah, basically it's, it's really good for brands like to advertise. Um, I'm pretty sure it just advertises. I don't think it's like really much games that, um, you know, oh yeah, they, I guess they do have games. It, yeah, infotainment company. So yeah, they can look, looks like it has games, weather, different stuff like that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think they're moving a little bit away from rideshare, but definitely check them out. Yeah. Well, what can we learn from 30,000 rideshare trips? So, um, oh, and then they won a case for New York city. I'm sure they got a lot of traffic for that. Um, oh yeah. Cause, um, I think there was a lawsuit with them in New York city for advertising in your car. And it looks like they, um, they were, they got sued maybe, or maybe they sued New York. I don't know. They won though. Viewer is the next one. Viewer is probably the biggest, um, advertising company for ratchet drivers. Like they have, look, you can play candy crush. Your passengers can play candy crush. What company like you can play candy crush on the, that's fun. That's really fun. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how much money you can make. I'm, yeah, it's, yeah, 150 bucks a month. That's great. Guys, if you can combine some of these, like, you can make a lot of money. Um, you know, say you do Cargo, Rapify, and Viewer, and Stereo. That's like four different ways you're making money. Plus, you're doing Rideshare. I mean, not even counting Rideshare, you're already making like a thousand a month. Then you add Rideshare to it. You can easily make like 80 grand a year doing all this stuff. Um, looks like they're selling Uber cards. I don't know. Dash cams. Um, trip cam. Trip cam is the next one. Trip cam is really interesting. So I, I actually have been meaning to reach out to this company because um, I want to learn more about them. But basically, they because I was thinking about making a product very similar to this, and then I found them, and I was like, well. Um, but they they focus on like you know, it's uh, it helps um, people passengers tip. You can tip through their tablet. Um, looks like it, oh yeah, and then it also records, where is it? Oh yeah, so it looks like they can play games too, but it also records your ride. So it's kind of like a dash cam, but like all the rides are recorded, um, which like, you know, it's, it, this is like a safety feature. So, um, notifies passenger of recording. So like if the passenger knows that, you know, the ride's recording, they're not going to do anything like sus. I mean, hopefully, <laughs> um, yeah, it's stored for 14 days, which is, you know, long enough if you need to get that. All right. The next one is square. I think it's squareup.com. Is that there? Oh wait, no, it's just called square. Square. Up. Yeah, I was right. I just spelled it wrong. So, um, yeah, basically it's like a card reader. You can get it. And, um, Sometimes like your passengers want to tip you, but they don't have cash and they don't want to tip through the app for whatever reason. Um, you can use square and it's yeah, 2.5, 2.75%. It's, it's not much at all. Um, but yeah. And then I think, yeah, this is like, I don't know. It's, it's like a payment system. Um, I, I, I wouldn't, I would say like kind of why not at this point, the next one is Omni. So let me see if I can find this. Um, yeah, so this was, a, I haven't, I actually did talk to, these guys did reach out to me. Um, they did want me to refer some people to this, but they didn't want to pay me any money at all. Well, they wanted to, yeah, they didn't want to pay me. So I was like, no, I'm not going to, you know, I don't work for free guys. But, um, but yeah, so, but now I'm talking about them ironically, <laughs> maybe that's how you do it. Um, but yeah, this basically it's an income protection for Uber and Lyft drivers. Check it out if you want. Um, you pay like a certain monthly fee and then anytime you get into an accident or something and then you can't work or maybe you get injured or something, they basically pay, you know, wh while your car is in the repair shop, um, you get like 2000 bucks for your, for your loss of your Uber income. Um, yeah, all, all you need is a 4.8 rating. Not bad. All right, so the next one is Maestro, but it's a dollar a day. That's kind of a lot. 
well, I mean, whatever. Do the math. Maestro is the next one. This one is to help you switch between Uber and Lyft. Um, that's it. That's all they do. Switch between, if you drive for Uber and Lyft and you don't want to log out, you know, stop, stop the ride, go offline, do all that, you know, manual. Just get Maestro and then um, you just go in between each app really e easily. But you do need to, I, you do need to pay. I'm not sure how much it costs. Um, they don't even show you the price because they just want you to earn 25 bucks. What is this? Oh yeah, give 25 bucks, whatever. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can use it to drive for both Uber and Lyft. The next one, oh, podcasts app. I use this a lot. I, so a couple of podcasts I listen to if you guys want some really funny ones is um, the Views podcasts, this one. Basically, it's this YouTuber, his name's David Dobrik. He has like, I don't know, 11 million subscribers. Um, he's 22 or something. He drives a Tesla, bought his friends like, you know, 10 cars or something crazy. Like, he's really funny. And then Jason Nash is like 45. Um, he's kind of like a unsuccessful actor, comedian guy. But now he's he actually a successful. But, um... Basically, they just talk about YouTube and life and stuff. It's really funny. Another one I listen to is, um, what's another one I listen to? Tiny Meat Gang. I sometimes listen to them. I haven't listened to them for a while. Um, this is a podcast. It's like two dudes talking. They're like 28 each, I think. Um, what's another one? Dave Ramsey. He's like, yeah, radio personality. He's like a finance coach. I, I haven't listened to him in a while. This I started listening to Gary V podcast. These are just, you know, suggestions if you want. Um, this one is good. He has, like, people calling. He's a really successful entrepreneur, um, which is good for me because, you know, I'm on YouTube and stuff. So he talks a lot about, like, growing your YouTube channel, growing your Instagram, um, building up your own brand and stuff. Um, and then another one, which I don't really do because it's so... Oh, call her, it's called Call Her Daddy Podcast. It's like two girls who talk, it's by Barstool, it's two girls who talk about like crazy uh, sexual stuff, which I don't know, I don't, I listened to like two minutes of it and I couldn't handle it, but um, if you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, I, I recommend it. Alright, so the next one is Audible. Whoops, went through a couple there. Audible. Um... So Audible basically is, you know, it's a, it's um, it's free audiobook, free audiobooks. Well, the first one's free, then you have to pay. Or maybe if you have an Amazon account, yeah, fifteen bucks per month. Um, or you, you know, you can try out the free membership for thirty days, guys, and then just cancel. That's usually what I do. Um, or if you like it, you can keep it. But yeah, basically, it's um, you know, listen anywhere, read, listen to audiobooks in the car. Pretty, pretty, you know, very good for, for driving, um, especially in between rides or like on your way home. If you got a long trip out and you have to like drive 30 minutes home, um, you know, if you don't get a ride back to your area, throw on a book, you know, you can get through a book, a couple books a week if you, um, you know, I think like an average book is like eight hours of listening. All right, so the next one is da, 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 Instagram. Obviously, everyone knows Instagram. Guys, I I use Instagram way too much, um, but that's my personal one. If you want to follow me, um, but basically, yeah, um, this is my Instagram page. You know, shirtless pics. What else? You know, what else do you expect? But uh, I, I go through Instagram you know, in between rides, stuff like that. Instagram is good um, to you. I don't know why I'm scrolling through my own. Do you guys look at your own profiles? Is that like, is that egotistical? Um, or what do they call it? Sociopathological? I don't know, whatever. This one is actually really funny. Wait, what's a funny one? This guy, I, I uh, tried to do an interview of this dude. I was wondering real quick if you would have the one 
one second for me. No, I today, don't. if I don't. you just have one second I for don't. me for day, I don't. You do, you do. I don't. You, it's one second for me today. God. We're we just having a lot of fun. Hey, you want get to have some my, fun? Get out of my face! I'm not in your face. <laughs> so that's like I used to make these funny videos. Um, this one I made. What do you do to get very nice skin? That means he rubs back. What the fuck? Yeah, um, <laughs> so yeah, I used to make these funny, that was on Venice Beach, um, or then this is one I just made. Or no, my, my friend made this one. Sham, she's awesome. You guys will probably see her. I'll, I wanna go visit her soon. We, we used to be like best friends, but, well, maybe not best friends, but we hung out a lot, but, um, now I'm in college and now I miss her. She's super fun though. I don't know anyone like her, like she's so chill. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have any more videos with her. Oh, I, this is her too. But um, yeah, if you wanna follow her, her, her name's Shem's Photo. Yeah, just kind of, we would just always hang out and do like make videos or just like, Go to the beach. Um, yeah, that's enough of that. So basically, I Instagram is just you know it doesn't help you make more money, but it helps pass the time. It's really fun. Tinder, dun dun dun. dun. Um, you know, addressing the elephant in the room. All of us need to date at some point or another. When you're driving a rideshare a lot, you know, you, you got some downtime. Hit those swipes. You know, hit those swipes. Get those matches going. Um, yeah, Tinder, I mean, do I need to explain anything else? Maybe you'll meet the love of your life. Um, it's, it's becoming more, actually I'll say this, it's becoming much more common for people to meet through online dating apps. Um, just the way our, you know, tech, our society is moving, it's just very technological now. Um, singles of, of, is a terrible thing to waste. So, it's fun, you know, you can use it casually or seriously, whatever. Uh, I know people do both, both guys and girls. The next one, Bumble, um, you know, it's the same thing. Oh, that's interesting. M Match made a website called Bumble, so now it's number one. That's just an advertising thing. But Bumble is the website. Um, it's, it's like Tinder, except the girl has to message first. So basically girls don't get a bunch of creepy messages like they do on Tinder. Girls have to make the first move. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as Tinder, except that, but yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. The next one, uh, Uber driver. Obviously, you need the Uber driver app if you're driving for Uber. Um, you know, there's not, nothing, yeah, it's just an, it's just an app you have to have if you're driving Uber. Or if you drive Lyft, I would definitely ch recommend checking out the Uber driver app too. Um, yeah, you can use my link in the description to sign up if you don't drive for Uber yet. Um, and then, uh, oh, sorry, my friend is texting me. Okay, sorry, the next one is, yeah, and then Uber, Uber is good, like, they're, they're going through their IPO right now, trying to get their IPO out. So they're doing all these like, you know, crazy bonuses for drivers and stuff. Um, I'm gonna make a video on the IPO soon, but, and then the next one is Uber Passenger. So obviously you need, you know, the Uber Passenger app um, is, is good, you know, if you're trying to get a ride, but even if you're a driver, it's good to also have the Uber Passenger app just so you see how it works from the passenger perspective. I, if you're, you know, an Uber and Lyft driver and you don't take a, take a trip once a week, um, you're missing out on a lot of helpful information, helpful insight on how other drivers drive, um, how the passenger experience works. You know, the trip doesn't start, you know, when the passenger gets in the car. It, it starts with them thinking about, okay, I need to go to here. Should I do Uber or Lyft? They check both apps. They wait for the surge price to go down. Then they order, they're on their couch. And then, you know, there's like 10 steps that passenger goes through before they even get in your car. So it helps to like know that side as well. The next one, Lyft, obviously the Lyft driver app. Um, you know, you can use my referral code if you 
haven't signed up. This is just in our, I think this is like Orange County. I don't know why it says 20. It's, it's like 500 in most areas. But um, if you don't have a car, you can use Lyft Express Drive, blah, blah, blah. You guys already know what Lyft is. You're watching this video. Um, but the next one is the Lyft Passenger app. That is number um, 28. So like same thing with Uber. Uh, get the passenger app just to know how it works, how it functions, see the bonuses. A lot of, see how tipping works. That way if you know a passenger says, oh, how do I tip you? You know, then you can tell them, oh, hey, you know, you have to wait till the end of the ride and then they ask you, blah, blah, blah. All right, the next one is Hinge. Hinge is interesting. Um, it's another dating app, <laughs> you know, um, needless to say, and designed to be deleted. Oh, okay. So yeah, basically we're on a mission to get you off hinge and out on great dates. That's pretty interesting. Um, the way they market it. So yeah, basically, oh yeah. And then the cool thing is, is that they ask you questions like they should have examples, but, um, Basically, it shows you like it, it asks you like what's your favorite thing about a first day or like what's your favorite food and then like you post a photo and then have the caption and people like the photo um, and then they'll match with you if you like it if you like one of their photos. It's like kind of like Instagram for dating. All right, because you can see everyone's profiles and stuff. The next one, Facebook. If you're not using Facebook, then you're probably under the age of 30. <laughs> Facebook's main demographic right now is like 30 plus. Um, Facebook is good to join these like Uber and Lyft groups um, so you can see what other people are doing. I have my own Uber and Lyft group. It's called Uber Lyft. Oh shoot. It's called uh, Uber Lyft Drivers of America. And um, I'll link this in below if, unless you want to type in all these numbers, which I don't think you want to do. Um, and then I have this other YouTube. Facebook page about the YouTube channel, Ride Your Hub. Um, but yeah, you know, scroll through Facebook in between rides. It's it's a fun way to pass along the time. And there's good videos and stuff. Facebook, and then the next one is Messenger. Messenger is good. Um, it's like texting except through Facebook. Um, why Messenger apps are good for business, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, basically it just, yeah, it's like texting, but through Facebook. All right, the next one is Twisty Road. This is a game for your phone. I'm gonna go through a couple of games. These are a couple of my favorite games. Twisty Road, this game is super fun. Um, I like this game. I'm on like level 150, I think. But yeah, basically you just play this game and um, I don't know, it's like Windy Road. It's hard to explain. Maybe it'll show like a little preview. But like Windy Road and there's a ball and then you have to follow the path. Um, is this an ad? It's an ad. I don't want to watch an ad. I'm trying to make a video. Okay, I'm not going to watch this whole ad. But basically, it's a, it's a fun game. Candy Crush. This is... Guys, these are games to play in between rides. You know in between a ride when you're like bored? Maybe you don't have a book on you. You're like, shoot, I forgot my book. Um, play some Candy Crush. This will definitely fly by, and then you'll be like, no, no, I don't want to do my next ride because I'm, you know, winning. Words with Friends is another game, one of my favorite games. You can chat, or like, yeah, you can play with other friends, uh, like, re in real time with other people. Sorry, huh, you some coffee. Words with Friends is fun. It's like uh, Scrabble, pretty much. All right, the next one is Fortnite. Okay. If you have never played Fortnite, this game is addicting, okay? You're gonna play for 17 hours straight, all right? All you do is you download it. It's only 59 gigabytes, just kidding. I don't know how big it is, but it's pretty big. And then it's super fun. And um, yeah, you kill other creatures. And it's all like online, live. And it's 100% free. Netflix. Netflix and chill, you trying Netflix and chill? Netflix uh, this is also really good to do in between rides. Um, you know, you can watch TV shows on your phone, movies, Bird Box is good. I mean, they have tons at The Office. I mean, whatever you want, there's, there's going to be something for you. They got stand-up comedy. Oh, this one is hilarious. You complete me, ho. 
His wife's last name is Ho, so it's like a tribute to his wife. Ellen, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart. These guys are all hilarious. This is just stuff to do in between rides. Next one, HBO. Same thing. Um, except HBO has my favorite show, which is what I'm watching right now for like the third time. Silicon Valley. That show is hilarious. Um, but yeah, they have a bunch of other shows that are not on Netflix. So um, yeah, you can watch that. Goodfellas, Inception. Oh, I'm tired today. Oh. I stayed up till like 4 a.m. last night. Ridiculous. Homework. Midterm season. Hulu. Hulu is another good one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get go through some more like rideshare specific ones, but guys, these are good for rideshare drivers. You know, you're you're watching the show in between a ride. You know, you maybe you like you know you have maybe it's like really early in the morning. You just drop somebody out, or you're sitting in the airport queue. Watch a show on Hulu, you know? Pass through the time. Oh, HQ Trivia. This one is so fun, so addicting. Um, I don't even know how this works, but they have ads on this, which basically they do giveaways. You play a trivia game. You, answer, you have to answer like 10 questions right. If you answer 10 or 12 questions right, you win like $10,000. Um, it's pretty nuts. Oh, he, I guess the guy died. Oh my gosh. Wow, rest in peace. I'm sorry, guys. This is, this just turned really dark. Wow, he died. That's crazy. Um, wow, I'm really sorry, but, okay. Um, I don't know, I don't know if the app is still up and running since he did pass away. Um, that is crazy. Dr drug overdose? I'm sorry, guys. Be careful out there. Okay, moving on. Wow, I was not expecting that. Fitness Buddy. Um, wow, hard to move on from something like that. Fitness Buddy is an app that, um, they have personalized workouts in there. Most comprehensive fitness app. Um, yeah, they show you a bunch of different exercises. 1,700. Um, discover new exercises. Make customizable, like, goals and stuff. Oh, that's pretty fun. Um, premium plans tailored workouts yeah it's pretty I've used it it's it's good calm oh this one is really nice it's like a meditative app um, it's supposed to calm you down and then at the end of the night which I don't know about you guys but after driving a ride chair for a long time your mind is like racing for some reason maybe because you're sitting down and then your mind is like I don't know I kind of get like a little ang ang anxious after driving for so long um, use Calm, it helps you, you know, it reduces anxiety, helps you go to sleep, um, and then, um, yeah, it's number one meditation app. Definitely try it out. Okay, the next one is Headspace. Headspace is pretty similar, um, guide, this has like, yeah, guided meditations. These are like the two biggest ones, except this I think it's less more like um, less sleeping but more like healthier and happier and more meditation but I think it's you think this one is mostly like for the morning when you wake up um, yeah personalized meditation guide so I think it helps you with like breathing exercises and stuff eight ball pool this one is one of my favorite games ever eight ball pool um, it's playing pool on your phone it's Really addicting. You play live with other people too, and you like you're playing a real person. It's really fun. Um, CNN News. This is another like news website. Um, I like reading the news, especially in the morning, just to get my mind up and running, knowing what's going on in the world. You know, Trump and Kim Jong Un. You know, there's always stuff going on. What do you guys think about Trump? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> um, what else? Apple News. Apple News is good. Um, these are all apps you can download. Apple confirms layoff of 190 people from self-driving car project. Um, that's either really good or really bad. Maybe they're making progress or maybe they're not. Number 74 is Fox News. And depending on your, you know, political beliefs, this could, you either hate Fox or love Fox, but, um, you know, 
I like to just kind of get a well-rounded perspective of what's going on in the world, so that's why I do CNN, uh, Fox, and then I think the next, is the next one BBC? No. It's mid oh, yeah, BBC is on there. We'll come up for that. Bible app. Um, it's just, you know, whatever your religious belief is, this is just the first one I thought of. There might be like the Quran app or something. Um, it, whatever it might be, whatever, you know, you're interested in, like, what is there, a Buddhist app? Um, there's probably a bunch of stuff out there. 15 Buddhist iPhone apps to help with your practice. There's a bunch of stuff out there. I would just say, you know, if you're religious, check out, check out an app and use it while throughout your day. I mean, why not, you know, you can pretty much practice your religion anywhere for the most part. So why not do it um, while you're driving or, um, you know, safely, of course, or in between rides or on your way home or whatever it might be, or on your way to pick up a new passenger. Because um, you have a lot of free time when you're driving, Uber and Lyft, you know, like when you don't have a passenger in the car. Next one, New York Times. I I love the New York Times. It's This is like more professional, um, you know, this is, yeah, world, U.S., politics, New York, business, opinion, tech, blah, 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 magazine, real estate. I like to hang out in the real estate section because I like reading about real estate. Um, that's just me, though. But, yeah, whatever it is might be for you. Like, look at this insane house. That is insane. Kind of looks like that Black Mirror episode. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, the next one is number 77, Forbes. I love Forbes. This is more like business stuff. Um, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you don't like any of this stuff, but I I love reading about like billionaires, leadership, money. I love reading about like business ideas and stuff. Um, but that's just me, take it or leave it. Anything interesting today? Young Americans owe a trillion dollars of debt? Pretty much. Uh, what's the next one? Wall Street Journal. I love Wall Street Journal. It's pretty much similar to Forbes. Um, breaking news, business. Um, yeah, again, real estate, politics, whatever. It pretty much looks like the Forbes website. This guy is on... Ex-lawyer says Trump also knew WikiLeaks released of hacked emails. I've seen this guy's face everywhere. Um, the next one, Medium. Oh, Medium is super fun. If you've never heard of Medium, you need to start reading Medium. Medium is like, it's like a blog website. It's kind of like Reddit, but for blogs. So you can upload a blog and then the more people like the blogs, the higher it is ranked and stuff. Reflecting my on my failure to build a billion dollar company. Yeah, of course you're gonna fail. Not everyone can build a billion dollar company. Unless you're Brex. Do you guys know what Brex is? This guy, his name's Henri. I just met this guy. He, um, this dude right here, he's 23 years old. And he's, he just started this company called Brex two years ago. And now the company's worth uh, $1.1 billion. So he's pretty much the CEO of a billion dollar company at 23. He's pretty much like Mark Zuckerberg. Um, I mean... He's gonna be a billionaire by like the age of 25. Wow, but anyways, um, yeah. I don't know why th that was super off topic, but yeah, Medium is really cool. They have like funny article, funny blogs and stuff on all these different, I like the startup one because I like startups and stuff, but that's just me. Um, all right, the next one, number 80, BBC News. BBC, this is probably one of the most trusted news apps, news, um, yeah, this guy, here he is again, maybe there's, like, some testimony, um, but yeah, this is, like, probably the most trusted international, um, news website, or app, whatever, so, whatever you think, it might work, NBC News, that's another one, um, yeah, breaking news, top stories, blah, 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 this guy is everywhere, Guys, let me know what's going on with this guy. I, I'm, I'm behind on news. Um, but yeah. Ooh, Bohemian Rhapsody is going to China. But will gay theme biopic be censored? Who knows? USA Today. This is a good one. Um, if you live in the United States and you like local... This is like more local news. Here's this guy again. Um, 
This is more, yeah, like I said, more no local news, like woman from Super Bowl ad gets football scholarship for tax saving, blah, blah, blah. All, this is all related to the United States. Earnin app. Earnin, this is a really interesting app, guys. Basically, I would try to check it out to see if it works with Uber and Lyft, but basically, um, it, uh, you, it's, it changes your payday. So I guess with Uber and Lyft, you know, um, you can get the money out whenever you want, but maybe if you have another job, basically it has, it makes you so that you can access your paycheck sooner, faster. Um, who doesn't like that? I, I don't, no one likes waiting for checks. Um, so, you know, sometimes you need a, like, a little extra money, you know, it happens to the best of us. So Earnin is good for that. Um, offer up. I know, I know you guys are, would be interested in this because for me, you know, doing ride share, it's, you're trying to make extra money. That's the whole point. So offer up, if you, it's good for buying, but it's also good for selling, making some extra cash. I sell stuff on Craigslist. I used to sell uh, surfboards, couches. Um, I used to buy used couches and then resell them for like triple the price and same with surfboards. I would go on Craigslist, search through like finding longboards. If you, uh, you know, I don't have the time for this right now, but if you live in like a beach, a beach town, um, If you live in a beach town, this this is like an easy way to make a bunch of money. Go on Craigslist, scroll through. Let me just, yeah, I'll show you guys really quickly. This is totally off topic, but this, it, it's online with like OfferUp, but you can do this on OfferUp too. Go to Craigslist, let's change this to, let's do Craigslist Los Angeles, right? It's a beach town. Go to Craigslist LA, here we go. Click on first sale here and then type in longboard surfboard go through and find some of these cheap ones where is it so yeah these are like two 250 is pretty good if you can find like a nine foot surfboard this is what i used to do yeah this like this one for example nine foot becker nose rider surfboard 145 bucks guarantee you 100 percent you can literally buy this Put it back on Craigslist for $300 and somebody's going to buy it. I don't even know anything about it, but yeah, it has some dings in it. Um, but it's not, it's not that bad. Like it's still writable, but just, just put in 300. Someone's going to buy it. Like this is really easy. Um, what's another one? The, the longer, the better. Um, yeah, 200 bucks. You could probably buy this and resell it for like 300. Um, this is just an easy like trick to do to make more money. This one, 10 bucks, 10 feet vintage. Guarantee you can buy this and sell it for, um, for like, yeah, 300 bucks. Okay, moving on. Number 85 is Class Pass. So, Class Pass is a, uh, basically it hooks you up with classes and uh, it, hooks, it hooks you up with classes and you know, you can get access to like fitness classes and you don't need to buy gym membership for like one place. Um, it, you know, it, like spin classes, yoga, Pilates, whatever. Um, it's only $9 a month. That's pretty nuts. Okay. The next one, TurboTax. TurboTax is great. Uh, I use TurboTax to do my taxes. You need to do your taxes, obviously, because you're an independent contractor. As an Uber and Lyft driver, you need to file your own taxes, and um, TurboTax is really good with like entering in your miles and your tax deductions and all that stuff. It's really easy. Okay, the next one, Taxify. This is just another option to do. Um, oh, this is never mind. This is a um, tap a button, get a ride. Oh, I don't know what this is. This is the one I was talking about. Effortless. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe this one. Maybe I was wrong. I thought it was like a tax app. It's a, I guess it's a, oh yeah, it's a Uber and Lyft company. It's a ride share company. All right. So the next one is Honey. So Honey is a uh, Chrome extension. Um, 
or an extension and it helps you uh, it applies coupons every anytime you're shopping it like searches a bunch of different coupon codes and applies it directly um, I've saved a bunch of money just shopping online it, it works with like Amazon and stuff so um, I would definitely use honey it's kind of like why not all right the next one SeatGeek so SeatGeek is a um, events app company and yeah, it's like StubHub, but basically shows you all the events in your area. Um, you know, Uber and Lyft drivers like to have fun too, you know, go to, go to a concert, see what's going on in the area, but also you can see that way you can make sure to drive near the concerts that are going on. Um, that way, you know, you pick somebody up and you're like, oh, how was Beyonce concert? You know, you know what's going on. All right, the next one is Drop. This one, earn with Drop. Earn cash rewards from your favorite brands. Drop is a free app that's giving out millions of cash rewards for the spending you do every day. So yeah, just doing basic stuff. Um, I think all you need to do is like upload your receipts or something or buy through the app or something. But yeah, basically you get rewards and then gives you cash, cash rewards. Who doesn't like that? You're already shopping anyway, you know. Might as well get some rewards back through it. Metro Mile. So Metro Mile is an insurance company, but you only pay based on how, how many miles you do. So say you're only driving part time, you don't need to pay, you know, a bunch of money as if you're driving like tens and thousands of miles a month or a week or a year. You know, maybe you're only driving 10,000 a, um, a year. Um, you pay per mile. So definitely check it out. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Next one is Sher Sherper. I don't really know how to pronounce this one, but um, Sherper, it's a, let's see, community to help Uber drivers improve their tips and ratings. Um, reduce customer conflict. We give you the tools to add more money to your wallet through tips. Um, yeah, I think it's like a newsletter, blog, shop. What, what can you buy from them? Car kits, ooh, nice. Yeah, you can buy these little kits. Um, it's more like a blog though, I think. The blog probably has like helpful articles. Um, February 20th, yeah, so they're pretty active. Their last article was a week ago. They should post daily articles though. Opt on. Opt on, let's see if I can do this. Get opt on. Uh, yeah, this is a, also a ride, this is a rideshare specific insurance company. Um, so a lot of like insurance companies don't cover rideshare, but this one does. Um, so I would, I would call them up and see if they can offer you a cheaper quote. Maybe say, oh, hey, I'm paying, you know, a hundred bucks a month here. Can I do 90 for, with you guys? Maybe they'll say yes. Always got to negotiate people. All right. Number 94, weather app. I use this daily. Um, it's not weather.com, but there's a weather app on your phone. Uh, wow, that car is screwed. Um, yeah, that way you know, like, if you're driving today, what, what to bring, what to wear, or like, just so you know if it's gonna be raining or hot out. Um, you know, stuff like that. Alarm clock. I mean, yeah, I just wanted to include this because this is something that I use every day to wake myself up in the morning, or if I take a nap, I need to wake up. I usually don't even wake up. I usually just hit the snooze button and go back to bed. This is not it, but um, yeah, it helps me. And then there's also the timer on there too. Okay, number 96 is notes. This is notes. I'm literally using notes for this video. Uh, I always type in stuff all the time. Like I'm working, if I get an idea for a video, I'll type it in. Or if I need to remember something for later, I'll type it in. You can even record yourself talking. It'll type it out for you. Notes is really good. I use it a lot. 97, the camera app. Um, I'll just, yeah, open up photo booth just to show you what I look like, um, from the screen's perspective, but, uh, oh, I don't know what those are, but this is me. <laughs> Hi. Um, but yeah, so camera app is good for taking photos. Also, you can take videos if, you know, if your pastor's ever being crazy, mean to you, rude to you, whatever. Um, but 
Yeah, I mean, take photos while you're traveling, you're driving around the country, you know, or the state, your city, you know. Maybe you've never been to a place before. Go out and take a selfie, you know, whenever you go to a new place. That's what I like to do. Um, cool. All right, so the next one, number 98, is FaceTime. I love FaceTime. I FaceTime my friends a lot. When you're driving, you know, it's better than texting. I just like to pull up and FaceTime. It's more personal, face-to-face, -face, obviously. Um, and, you know, it helps build better relationships than just talking on the phone or texting. Gmail. Gmail, um, yeah, self-explanatory. It's, it's just, I'm, I just deleted the mail app and now I'm trying out Gmail, so I'm going to try it out and see how it is. I don't really like it as much as the normal mail one, but, as Apple mail, but, um, Gmail's good. Okay, number 100, Google Translate. So, if you ever have a situation where you have a pastor who doesn't speak English, which happens from time to time, and they want to tell you something, just open up Google Translate, have them type it in, and then translate into English. That way you know what they're saying. Um, sometimes it might even help with directions. All right, I have a couple more. Um, 101 is Talk Talkspace. This is a therapy app. Um, it's really good. You can chat with an online therapist. It's kind of like bringing therapy to your phone. Um, these are all licensed therapists. It's not like a computer. It's a real person there. Um, yeah, you, you know, I, I think I think therapy is good for everyone. You don't need to be like, you know, super depressed. Like, it's just healthy for, just to talk. 45 up uh, off your first month, so pretty much free. The first month is 49, so you're paying four bucks a month for your first month. Um, the next one is Noom. What is Noom again? I just found Noom right before I shot this video. Oh yeah, it's a weight loss thing. Um, it helps you stay motivated to lose weight. Um, so yeah, I would definitely try checking that out. And then the last one, I just heard about this, YouPorn just launched this app for discreet viewing. So I know some of you guys, I know a lot of you guys out there, you know, dabble in this section, in this area. We all at some point or another or another, um, no pun intended. Basically, yeah, they, they launched a new app to be like convenient access, but most importantly giving a private way to explore content. So yeah, basically where, there's a photo of it. That, this is what the app looks like. So um, this is actually pretty smart that they're doing this because you know, you don't want to watch on your phone and somebody walks up to you, but you can use this. All right guys, so those are my top 100 best apps plus the extra two or three at the end. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching again. If you want to enter into the giveaway for the t-shirt, all you have to do is guess my favorite ice cream flavor. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Oh, question of the day is, what's your favorite app? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, bye guys.